what's up foodies thank you so much for all the love you guys give me i really 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 appreciate that thank you so much um for a long weekend what we're gonna do is since everyone is gonna be barbecuing and everyone has been asking me on how to make a uh, tandoori veggie patty and also tandoori chicken patty um so tandoori chicken burger and tandoori uh, veggie burger so without wasting any more of your time let's get to making the recipe for you guys in today's video i'm going to be showing you three different recipes um, might be a little bit longer video but bear with me you're going to love the recipes today so let's get to making the recipe all right guys so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to show you the recipe on how to make the tandoori masala for making the tandoori masala what i've done is i've taken some ground floor here and we're just going to go ahead and roast the ground floor uh, it's going to take a little bit of time. Um, you're going to keep mixing it until it stops sticking to the uh, to the pan. So I'm using a nonstick pan. You probably want to do that just to make sure that you don't burn your floor. Uh, ground floor is, uh, by the way, a uh, basin. Um, so we're using basin. We're going to add some spices to it. Now I'm making a larger quantity. Uh, the reason for I'm uh, making a larger quantity is this is going to be a dry tandoori masala that you can store as well. So in future, if you need to and if you may want to make something quick, you can definitely use the same tandoori masala for making your tandoori paneer, uh, paneer tikka masala, chicken tikka masala. You can use the same masala for that. Um, I'm not using garlic uh, in making the dry masala, so all my giant friends um, that likes to eat tandoori but a lot of the time they're not able to because of the garlic and onions so in this recipe we're not gonna have garlic and onions um, or in the masala recipe we're not gonna have garlic and onions you can definitely add that and I will show you how we can add it for my uh, for my burger recipes all right guys so I've been constantly mixing the flour uh, what we want to do is we want to have all the moisture go out of the flour. So uh, that's what we're trying to do. Um, have all the moisture out of the flour. Now at the same point, since we're making dry masala, what we're going to do is we're going to add a few more things to it. And at this point, I'm going to turn my gas to the low heat, uh, the lowest possible so that it doesn't burn the flour while we're adding this stuff to it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of cinnamon powder. And yes, I just got the powder, so I haven't opened it. So I'm going to go ahead and open the cinnamon powder. So just going to add a tiny bit of cinnamon powder. You don't want to add too much because then it would overpower the flavor of the uh, of rest of the ingredient. Now at the same time, I'm going to go ahead and add some uh, crushed pepper, black pepper. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add an ample amount of jeera powder. Um, now I'm, the jeera powder I'm using is um, Bunawa jeera. Uh, so Bunawa is sauteed jeera. Uh, and I'm using good amount of jeera powder. Uh, a lot of the time, the smell that you get, uh, the taste that you get is the jeera powder taste that you're getting. Now at the same time, I'm gonna add just a little bit of turmeric powder. Now turmeric powder, jeera powder, and chili is something you can always compensate for and you can always add more on top of it. Um, I'm using the Kashmiri chili just to give the color uh, I'm not using um, the spicy chili, uh, so just so you can have the color of the masala. And then at the same time, I'm going to add just a tiny bit of cane. And again, yes, you hear my family in the background. They are just so excited to eat that they cannot stay quiet. Uh, we are actually doing a barbecue today. Um, I'll introduce you to my whole family in a little bit when we go out to the grill uh, but just getting the masala ready for now. Um, I'm gonna go out and add some garam masala now and once we add all of this ingredient what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go out and give it a good mix and our tandoori masala is gonna be ready. Alright guys so this is how you want to mix it. If you're making this to store 
there are two more steps that you need to add to it. Um, you would add a little bit of uh, oil to it. That way uh, the masala doesn't go bad at the time if you want to store it for a longer time. And as you might have noticed, we haven't added salt to it. Uh, the reason for that in this masala, uh, most of the time we are marinating the, the food that we are using this masala for. So you, we can add salt to taste at the time of making the food. Uh, but this is how you want your um, your masala to be. A lot of the time when you buy the tandoori masala from outside, they add a lot of food color. I'm not using food color. If need be, if you really are conscious about that red color for your tandoori food, then what you can do is you can add a little bit more, a um, little bit more Kashmiri chili when you're making the food. Or what you can do is you can add just a drop or two of uh, uh, just a drop or two of, uh, of food color. Now my tandoori masala is ready. I'm gonna let it um, uh, let it go out and cool down for a little bit, and then I'm gonna start making the veggie patties. All right, guys. Now that the masala has cooled down a little bit, what we're gonna do? It's now we're gonna make veggie patty. Now the way I'm gonna make the patty, it's gonna be a vegan patty. So in case if any of my vegan friends, they want to try this, you can definitely try it. Now I have a food processor here. We're gonna add some stuff to the food processor. I have some uh, carrots, some peas, uh, sweet corn, beans, and of course, potato for the binding. Um, and then I'm gonna add some cornstarch, uh, some bread crumbs, and our masala, and, um, and salt and lime. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start adding our uh, but I do uh, to the food processor. <clears throat> I'm using the black bean. If you don't like black bean, you can actually use rajma. Um, you can also use um, the chickpeas. So you can be creative with what kind of uh, beans you want to add to it. That's just pretty much adding your protein to your uh, to your patty. Now I'm using three potatoes. Um, and uh, you can use more potato if you want to. I like to have my patty to be more veggies and less potatoes. So I'm gonna go ahead and add all of this stuff in there. Um, add some, um, I'm gonna go ahead and add some uh, uh, <clears throat> onion powder, some garlic powder. And we're gonna add our masala to it. All right guys, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and add our, um, our tandoori masala. Um, add it to your taste. Um, I like to have the tandoori taste a little bit um, of um, a little more taste of tandoori masala coming. So I'm adding about three big spoons of uh, of tandoori masala. Well, let's just say four big spoon. Now at this point, um, if you're someone that doesn't eat uh, that doesn't eat uh, any garlic or onions, you can just do this. Add the salt to taste. Um, now I'm adding salt. I haven't added salt to masala or I haven't added salt to any of the uh, the rest of the ingredients. So I'm adding salt, um, quite a lot of it. I'm also going to go ahead and since we're trying to make veg uh, vegan patties, I'm going to go ahead and add some lime for uh, for the sourness. Normally when you're making anything that's, uh, that's with tandoori, um, you're going to go ahead and use uh, yogurt for it. Uh, but keeping our uh, vegan friends in mind, we're going to go ahead and add lime juice to it. Um, I'm adding about half a lime uh, just to get that sourness going. Now with that, what we're going to do is I'm adding about one spoon of cornstarch. And I'm going to go ahead and add some uh, breadcrumbs to it. Now breadcrumbs, you can always add more. I'm starting with just a little bit of breadcrumbs. Uh, you can always add more. Now, this is what you would mix up if you were not eating garlics and onion. Um, now, since I do eat garlic and onion, I'm gonna go ahead and add some, uh, some garlic powder and also some onion powder just to finish our recipe for tandoori uh, veggie patties. All right guys, so my food processor has done its magic. This is the consistency you want. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go out and take it out. 
and we're gonna go ahead and put it into our um, um, uh, in a ball and then we're gonna start making patties out of that all right guys so i know I, we talked about three recipes where i said that i'm gonna give you a recipe for making my tandoori masala um here is an added bonus for you guys uh, so i know a lot of you guys haven't tried this or you might have not heard of it but what we're doing is we're making the buffalo wings with the tandoori masala um, so what i had done was i uh, marinated my wings um, just with butter uh, garlic powder and um, actually fresh garlic and uh, and lime juice for about uh, two hours or so and all i did was use yogurt as a marination and I used um, just the regular buffalo wings with the skin on. Um, and this is going to be our tandoori buffalo wings added benefit or added recipe just for you guys. I'm feeling generous today with the recipes. Um, this is the recipe with our veggie patties. It almost looks like a beef patty. We're going to go ahead and make, uh, make patties out of it in just a minute. The last thing we're going to do... I have some uh, ground uh, ground chicken here. I'm using halal chicken. Uh, you don't have to use halal if you don't want to. But we're going to go ahead and make uh, um, the tandoori patty for the chicken as well. And I'll show you what we need to do with that in just a second. Alright guys, so so far what I have in there is I have my, um, I have my meat in there. Um, I also have some dried potatoes. Um, I also have two spoons of uh, cornstarch in there. I'm gonna go ahead and add some uh, garlic powder. Now be generous with your garlic powder. You do want a little bit of garlic kick coming out of it. Now I'm gonna also add just a little bit of onion powder. And with that, we're gonna go ahead and add our um, uh, tandoori masala to it. So, be generous with your tandoori masala. I'm gonna go ahead and add about four big spoons of the tandoori masala in there. And you know what? One more spoon, why not? So five big spoons of tandoori masala. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I usually like my chicken patty a little spicier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add one spoon of um, um, of a spicy chili. It's habanero chili powder, so I'm adding one spoon of chili powder. Um, the last two things we're going to go ahead and do, of course, we're going to add ample amount of lime in there. Um, I like to use lime over lemon. Um, you can use lemon juice. It works just fine uh, for me. I love using, uh, using lime. It just gives me a different taste than lemon does. So... I'm using um, almost three quarters of a lime in there. Um, and with that, for the binding part of it, I'm going to go ahead and crack an egg in there. And we're going to go ahead and mix it up. And our chicken patties are going to be ready as well. Alright guys, so this is how you want your chicken's consistency to be. Now, one thing I do on there is, uh, and this is my cheat, since we don't have enough uh, fats in the chicken. I'm using the chicken breast um, uh, with no skin. Um, that's what I had my uh, um, my meat guy uh, uh, make the grind out of. Now to add some um, some juiciness to it, I'm gonna go ahead and add some cheese in there. So I'm using about two slices of cheese. I have about one pound of chicken in there, so um, you can add more cheese if you want to. But the only reason why we are adding just a little bit of cheese in there is so when we are going ahead and um, uh, when we are going out and grilling the, the chicken, it's going to add some juiciness to it. And after that, we're just going to go out and make patties out of, um, out of everything and we're ready to grill. Alright guys, so I have my, um, my grill going for about four, uh, 400, 350 to 400 degree Fahrenheit. Um, now what we're going to do is since chicken and veggie are... Um, um, they're not strong meat. We're actually going to go ahead and um, and cook them indirectly. So what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to go ahead and put my my chicken patties on indirect heat, and then at the same time I'm going to do the same thing for um, for my veggie patties as well. So since it doesn't take that long to cook, um, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put my patties on there. 
and we're gonna let it cook for about 15 to 20 minutes um, just let it simmer and we're gonna be good to go I also have my wings going wings are on the direct heat um, my patties are going to be on indirect heat so now we're gonna go ahead and close it up let it cook for a few minutes we don't want to keep on flipping it because when we keep on flipping the meat uh, since we're using the veggie, med, uh, veggie patty and, uh, and chicken patty, it keeps on breaking it if you play around with it too much. So we're going to go ahead and close the lid and let it cook for a little bit. Alright guys, so our, um, our patties are almost done. All we're going to do is we're going to melt some cheese on top of it. Now the other thing we're going to do is, um, um, I have some burger buns. We're just going to go ahead and toast them very quick. Now one of the base thing about making a good burger is you want to make sure that you have uh, um, you have good burger buns uh, a lot of the time a lot of people just use the cheap burger buns and it kills the taste of the burger uh, so please make sure that you use good toes uh, good buns toast them up again we're still cooking on indirect heat pretty much for people that doesn't know what indirect heat means is all we're doing is we're turning off the heat on the side where we're ch cooking the chicken and patties and just letting it cook by this by the steam so I'm gonna go ahead and, um, and close the lid, let the cheese melt. Our bun should be toasted by then too, and we should be good to go. Um, and we're almost done, guys. All right, guys, my cheese is melted now. Um, as you can see, they're melting very nice. All I'm gonna do is I'm using some uh, uh, chipotle sauce for my burger uh, as my dressing. You can use whatever condiments that you want. I'm keeping it simple, just some chipotle sauce. Uh, I'm gonna use some onions, jalapenos, um, and latest tomato, and we're good to go. Um, as you guys always know, the food is ready. I'm not waiting on you. Thank you so much for watching the video. Always liking the video. Keep sharing, keep subscribing. Let's get to get over that 10,000 mark for Facebook and 1,000 mark for, uh, uh, for YouTube. Thank you again for watching the video. Have a great day.